In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use spreadsheets and XML files to import content into your Premium Press theme. So let's get started. Welcome back. So the first thing you're going to need is the CSV import plugin. And that can be found at the premiumpress.com website. Click on plugins. Scroll down, locate the CSV import plugin, which is called the CSV import tool. Click on read more. And then use the download button to download the latest version. Now this plugin is only available for Premium Press Went members. So make sure you have a valid Premium Press account and you can download it anytime and import it into your website. So once you've downloaded the plugin, go over to the admin area of your WordPress website, click on plugins, add new, upload plugin, and then select the file that you've just downloaded from the premiumpress.com website. Once you've installed and activated the plugin, you should find it under the plugins, install plugins, and here you can see the version 10 CSV import export tool. Make sure this activated. And then we go to premium press. And on the left hand side, you'll now see a new option called CSV import. So we can click this and begin working on the import options. Now for this video, I'm going to be using the coupon theme, but it doesn't matter whatever premium press theme you're using, you can still follow along in this tutorial and apply it to your premium press website. So the first thing I normally do is I will export all of my existing content. And this is great for just creating a general backup for your website. So I'm going to click on export all and you can download the CSV file. I'm going to open it and quickly show you what it looks like. So in front of me, we have the export file. So this is the CSV file for my existing website. And as you can see, I have the first column row is the column headers and the second row is my actual coupons in the case. So everything under here um, that extends to, so any anyway, three, four, five would be additional coupons on my website. So if I was adding new coupons, I could just create new rows underneath. There are obviously the column one is the headers. So as you can see, we have an ID, which represents the post ID in WordPress, the post author, post dates, content, etc. And this obviously is a great way if I'm having multiple um, options and I wanted to change it quickly using a CSV file, I can just say, for example, change the title, give it a new one, testing123, save the file, and then re-upload it to my website using this tool, and it'll automatically update all of the information for me. So if I just go ahead and show you how that's done, I'm gonna save the file, I'm gonna click on new import. First step is I'm gonna give it a name, so I'm just gonna call it test, click continue. It's gonna ask me where I want to get the file from, so I'm gonna click on upload. I could select remote location or a local file, but because it's a file I've just downloaded, I want to re-upload it. I'm going to preview. So this is a preview option to make sure that everything looks correct. If the um, display in the bottom here doesn't look like it's supposed to, in the case that it doesn't like, you can see the headers on the left and the values on the right, make sure you change the delimiter to um, a different value to whichever separates the values within your CSV file. In most cases, this is the correct one. Sometimes it's a colon. Um, it just depends on what file you're using. But once you've can verify that the information in the preview window is correct, click on save and continue. And now we begin mapping out our import. So basically we select the value from our CSV file that represents the file that we're going to import. So in this case, we have a unique ID, a title for our coupon and a description. So we select the value from our um, CSV file that represents this one. So in this case, we have an ID, so I would select that. I want the title, so I'll select whichever value holds the title. So post title is here and description, post description is here. Now, if there are no corresponding file values, such, so for example, if I was wanting to select a unique ID and I had no unique ID in my file, just leave it blank and it doesn't matter. You can come back and edit later if required. It just means that that file or that value will not be imported during the import process. So we have a title description. Now again, with coupons, if I left the coupon blank, the system would assume it's an offer. So again, I might not need to add that, but if I did have that in my file, I can obviously select it. So in this case I do, coupon. It doesn't always have to have a value. Obviously remember that the CSV file can contain multiple different um, coupons. So some of them might have coupons, some of them might not. So just make sure you select the header that represents that. Expiry date, again, if I have an expiry date in my file, there we go, listing expiry date. 
And now obviously we have additional options such as taxonomies, attachments and custom fields. Now in the coupon theme, taxonomies are stores. So we select store value, we have stores, so I can select a store. And if I've added a store to my file, I would select the store here. In this case, I don't think I have. I have no file for store. Um, and with C type, which re re represents the coupon type, so it's either a coupon offer, I don't have that either. But I'll show you how to add that later on. So in this case, I'm just gonna import the very basics into my website. Click on save and continue. Give it permission, so I wanna create and update. I don't want it to delete anything. And I can start the import process. So just click run, save and run. Okay, so we can see here we go, it's um, updated. Let's click on record inserted. And I can go to my coupons. And as we can see, the new coupon test coupon 123 has the 123 added to the, the name of the coupon. So basically we've just um, exported our coupon, we've changed the name in the CSV file and then re-uploaded the coupon. So that's a great way to quickly manage existing content. Now obviously if you're importing content from other CSV files, say for example you're using an affiliate network or anything like that and you want to import coupons, or for example if you're using Shopify for products or you're using any other CSV export tool, and you want to import those into your um, into your website let's go ahead and do a full import so again we go back to the csv file we click on add new because we're going to start a completely new import and then we click on new import we give it a name so let's just give it a new name so new import one click continue and then we select the file again that we want to use so in this case we're going to be selecting a file that we've downloaded from another affiliate network and we're going to import that into our website so we click on upload file. We choose the file. So what we have here is a product feed. We're gonna click on upload. And you can see the product feed. In this case, you see how it's different from our original one. It doesn't look correct. As you can see, the column headers are separated with a colon. So we're gonna change the delimiter to colon. And as soon as we change it, you see now that the values are displayed correctly. So again, just to make sure when you import a CSV file that the, the display is, is correct so that we can um, select our values and just change the delimiter here. So we click continue and it's the same process. Now we simply map the elements in our CSV file to the, to the elements here. So basically we're telling the system where the unique key is for the unique ID, where the um, title is within our CSV file and where the description is. So again, we select we find an ID. So in this case, um, this is a product feed. It's got a product ID. So that's always a good place to start. We have a title. So again, select and we select the title. Now in this case, it's a product feed. This is the first time I've seen this feed. So we're going to click name. And again, description. We simply find a description. It makes it nice and easy. We've got a big one here, description. So those are the three basic content options. Again, with coupon, with coupon um, websites, we have a code and an expiry date. So this is a product feed, so it might not have a coupon. So we can just scroll down and verify. Again, it doesn't look like it does. It looks like it's more of a product than a coupon. Uh, an expiry date. So if there's any date that the offers expend. Again, this is a, a product feed, not a coupon feed. So there's no expiry date either. So I would just leave that blank. And now obviously we have taxonomies. If I wanted to add this to a store, I would select a value. And what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna add a new store. So in this example, I'm just gonna select any random value within my CSV file and use that to add a store. So let's look for brand. So as you can see here, we have this brand option within our product feed. So that's always a good idea for a store. Let's check to see if there's something else. No, I think brand's a good option. So let's use the brand button. So we're gonna use brand to set up a new store. So we click brand. So this is, we click on the brand header here. We just want it once. So let's delete it completely and re-add it. Click select. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen is when the import process happens, it's gonna create a new store with that brand value for each of the imported products in this case. Save and continue. Again, I'm gonna give it permissions. So create an update. Click save and continue. And I'm gonna run the import now. So click on run. So it's gonna read my um, product file. So as you can see, it's reading the file, it's imported them all, and it's created a store here for each one as well. So if there's any duplicate stores, it just adds it to the same store. And if there's any new stores, it's gonna create a new one. Coupons. So now we have 52 coupons, as you can see here, and it's created stores as well. So if we click on stores to verify. 
we now have lots of new stores taken from a product feed. Now remember that was a product feed and not a coupon feed, but it still added everything as it should do. So we now have um, our new stores, which is the brand for that actual product. And as you can see, it has multiple different um, coupons or products within that actual store. So again, let me go back to our CSV import. Now, if at any time I wanted to edit and re-upload the file, I'd simply click on Manage Files, select the one that I have, which is the current one. Instead of doing the import and go back, I go back again. And I keep going back. Just go back again until it says where I want the file. Now, you can see it's an existing file. So I have, this is the file I've already got. I would simply click on Upload File and then select the new file. So I could click on, say, a Test File, click Forward. And now I have a new file. So again, this is another test file that's been sent. You can see the dilemma, the um, the column difference. So I just let change the column settings. As you can see now the file is looking correct. Click continue, and the mapping options will be the same. So basically, all the mapping options have been saved. So this way that I could um, change the file and then re-upload it and still have all my saved elements. So that's how we would go ahead and manage, add, upload. And then using the export option, export files using the CSV import tool. Thanks for watching.